All right, now we're going to export our project to iOS. So in order for you to export to iPhone, you need to use a Mac computer, a MacBook or iMac. Uh, you can't do that using Windows unless you know how to install VMware on Windows and uh, run Mac for it. Then it, it, it might be possible, but the best is definitely to have your own uh, MacBook or iMac. So I'm going to set up my uh, project here. So this is basically the same as what we did in class. You don't need to do this again. Just open your existing project and we can basically uh, go from there. Uh, firstly, I'm going to switch to my iOS platform. Right. Okay, and I go to player settings, and we want to set up our Vuforia. So I'm going to scroll down under XR. I want to uh, enable Vuforia augmented reality support, and. I'm using slightly older version of 2018, so it might look a bit different from what you have, but whatever it is, you need to check for your augmented reality. So this is because we are using this. Uh, and under other settings, scroll down. So we want to change our identifier. So remember it's com.company name or your name. So in this case, my name, Razif. Okay, Rias Pula. Razif. Dot A R I O S. Arios. And we want to check automatically signed. So this will later on be carried forward to um, using uh, a different software. But make sure that your identifier is there and then you check automatically sign. This will leave it as is at the moment. So minimum target iOS version is 8. By default, it will uh, use the latest available. But anyway, that's done. Let's click. Uh, let's move that away. And I'm going to set up my before a camera. Important. This may or may not work um, properly because I'm using VMware on my Windows. And I'm going to use my uh, default Vuforia database since I, I have the astronaut card to play around with. Alright, almost done. Okay, that's done. I'm going to import my camera, uh, sorry, my image target. But I don't want it to be the child of AR camera, so I'm going to click out on that image, and that's it. Now, setting up the AR camera, I uh, don't need to put the configuration because I'm using default. You will have to do this, remember what we did in our exercise. And then, um, so I'm going to click open. So, this is what you need to put in database yeah i'm going to use that so image pretty fine astronaut okay that's fine then i'm going to add my cube double click image target move my cube up a bit wait i've moved accidentally move the, the whole thing i just want to move the cube Right, and then let's rescale it to 0 0.5. Okay, so it's smaller. What else? Um, let's go back to. So this is done. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to my build settings again. There's one thing I need to double check because it says here. Um, Earlier, I saw something about Android TV.
There's nothing about Android TV. Alright, so that's done. Um, let's build an export. Oh, another thing is, you know, there you go. Camera usage description required for augmented reality spot. So you need to type in something here. So basically, it will be displayed when uh, a permission is being asked on your phone whether to allow using camera or not. So it'll be like telling people what this is for. So I'm just going to put this AR camera. Location usage description only if you are using uh, location. But I think other things are fine. Target device, iPhone iPad. All right, so let's try click build and run and see what happened. And this will be saved into our Unity project folder. I'm going to call this um, iOS test build. Save it. And we'll start compiling and we'll see what happened. Oh, there's an error here. To double check. Vuforia requires minimum iOS version of 9. Oh, so I cannot use um, iOS 8. So I'm going to change the minimum target to iOS 8. So meaning that if you have older version of iPhone, you can't do this. So it has to be a minimum of 9. Okay, let's try. Build and run again. Same place. Replace. Right, so it's building. And because you choose to do build and run, make sure the phone is connected. But I don't think it will run straight away. It will uh, need to go to another software. So when it finished exported from Unity, it will open in Xcode. So just go ahead and open Xcode. And uh, if it asks you to stop compiling, uh, just click cancel. But whatever it is, you will see the screen. Make sure you can you can select um, the listing on the left here, Unity iPhone. And then you'll come to this window. And this is the display name of our app. This is the identifier that we set up in Unity. And the thing that we want to um, check here is this automatic manage signing before that is probably unchecked you will see a lot of red um, notifications here so just click automatic signing and then you want to choose your own Apple ID profile so if you don't see it here click add account and then you will need to log in to your account right so once you log in you have your ID and the team and that's it so now you're able to select it from the list. Okay. So once you're done with this, um, you don't need to mine all of the other option here for the time being because we just want to test whether it's going to run our on our device or not. So once you have set this profile, click play on the left side here, and then it will build again for your computer uh, for your iOS, and once it's finish building it will run on your device right so i'm going to switch to my idea the first time when you run on your device you won't see it opening on your phone but uh, because you have not set the permission yet so i'm going to show you how to set the, per the permission all right so finish in exporting and it already signed in the product to the phone make sure your phone is active and it want to log in so this is your uh, your mac um, login your mic password you know, validating product see whether it can install running installing so it seems okay and yeah I think it should be fine all right so we go to your phone settings and then under general scroll down and then you'll see device management 
developer app your email and you have to click trust or tap trust All right, so now you got that you can exit remember we already exported it's just that it couldn't run on the phone and it should be installed here there you go AR iOS test you can tap on that and it will launch your camera Yeah, so this is the description that we added the AR camera at the bottom. Yes, my phone is super slow. Right, there you go. This is my astronaut. Right. Yeah, so that's it.